Veteran legal experts are reacting to the unprecedented back and forth in the Delphi murder trial. They say they haven't seen anything like it. CBS 4's Russ McQuaid has been watching the progress in the case from the start, and he joins us now to break it all down for us. Good evening, Russ. And good evening. You know, every time I talk to anyone about the latest moves in the Delphi double murder case against Richard Allen, people always ask me, have you ever seen anything like this before? And I say, no. And apparently, I'm not alone. Rodney, have you ever seen anything like this? I don't think so. It took Indiana State Police and the Carroll County Sheriff's detectives five and a half years to track down Richard Allen, even though investigators knew he had been on the Monon High Bridge the day Abby Williams and Libby German were found stabbed to death in 2017. Allen has been locked up pending trial since his arrest in October of 2022, and his attorneys Andrew Baldwin and Bradley Rosie have been caught up in as much controversy as their client, and they've been subjected to a gag order then claiming they were forced off the case and then came back after an Indiana Supreme Court ruling. There's almost no aspect of this case that gives the public a good idea of how well the criminal justice system works on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's a real shame because they're going to see way more about this case. And, and get that misimpression. Special Judge Fran Gull will hold a pretrial hearing in Fort Wayne Monday when she may find the defense team in contempt. I can't recall a time when I've seen that occur in a trial before with the uh, issues with the judge and removing the defense counsel and then the request to remove the judge. Or Cummings says that maybe those multiple motions are intended to keep prosecutor Nicholas McLeland bogged down responding to filings instead of preparing his case. I don't know if it's to keep him occupied, to keep the prosecutor occupied, but it also protects the record. It's very difficult to do that when you're, when you're trying to respond to these issues that continue to come. Judge Gall has yet to rule on our request to have cameras in the Delphi courtroom during the trial so everyone at home can watch the proceedings and perhaps dispel some of the mystery surrounding this case. In the studio, Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News.